Hi guys, your friend Takopi is here and in today's video we will start with the next topic that is trading chain. Okay, GST in different steps of or different stages of trading chain. Okay, um, so as I said the 4.1 practice at 4.1 was already done by Vaishali ma'am introductory part I did and a few examples also we discussed and the exercise part is already done so now we will start with the next new topic so without wasting time let's get started GST in trading chain so here you can st uh, see which are the different stages of a trading chain first from manufacturer the product will be purchased by wholesaler or distributor from them it goes to the retailer and from the retailer it will reach the consumer so these are the different levels now this levels uh, are when there is trading chain is happening the trading is happening within one state okay within one state the trading is happening that means the manufacturer wholesaler retailer consumer everybody belongs to one or are registered under one state okay now suppose now this is an illustration or we can say a, like sort of a case study so suppose manufacturer of a watch has sold one watch for rupees 200 including profit to the wholesaler so the manufacturer sold a watch to the wholesaler of price rupees 200 which includes profit in it next wholesaler sold that watch for 300 to the retailer and then at the next step retailer sold it to the customer for rupees 400 okay now rate of GST charged at every stage is 12 percent okay so every transaction that is happening that means first transaction happens between manufacturer and wholesaler at that stage 12 percent GST is uh, charged and next wholesaler and retailer at that transaction uh, transaction also GST is charged and third retailer and consumer in between them also 12% so at every stage 12% GST is charged now as a whole if you see uh, okay so now for now you need to understand this much and then the next step or in the detail explanation we will come to know that in each step how the amount will be go going to the government and how much each one of them are paying actually okay it's sort of it's not that at every stage some amount is going to the government and then there is a bulk tax happening over there it's not like that as a whole 12 percent GST is charged now how the calculations happen or how much each one of them contributes and finally the whole thing comes to the the product is used by the consumer or the service is used by the consumer so indirectly actually the full tax is paid by the consumer only okay but at several stages we will come to know how it is paid and how all those money is actually redeemed from the customer itself or the, from the consumer itself whoever is using the product or using the service so step that steps we will discuss now then how each trader pays GST and takes his input tax credit that is ITC at every stage of transaction is shown in the following flowchart observe and study it okay so in the following flowchart we will come to know what is input tax credit and what is the actual uh, GST paid by each okay so this is the flowchart now here if you see from the first step manufacturer then wholesaler then retailer then customer finally now here from the manufacturer now if you see this arrow the manufacturer gives the watch to the wholesaler and wholesaler is paying 200 to the manufacturer now at this stage we need to apply 12 percent of 200 as gst so 12 percent of 200 would be 24 rupees so gst at this stage is 24 now this wholesaler gives with 200 he also pays the gst that is 24 rupees to manufacturer and manufacturer pays that 24 to the government okay or it he country uh, it will go to the gst part or uh, account okay now next from wholesaler see from the wholesaler this watch goes to the retailer and in return retailer is paying rupees 300 cost price and along with uh, 300 as I said again 12% will be applied here so 12% of 300 rupees will be 36 so retailer will pay 36 to the wholesaler 
Now, when retailer is paying 36 to the wholesaler, what the wholesaler will do? Now, a part of the tax he already paid to manufacturer that is rupees 24. So that 24 rupees he will take from this 36 and the rest amount he will pay it as GST. Now that is 36 minus 24 that is equal to 12 rupees. Okay. So here what is happening? Now here the wholesaler don't need to pay the full GST he is taking. The part of the GST which he spent on manufacturer that he will keep it for himself. Only the extra amount he is paying as tax. Okay. And in the next step retailer here also the same thing happens. Retailer uh, gives the watch to the customer or customer is buying it from retailer and in return customer pays rupees 400 as cost price. Now here also 12% of 400 will go as GST. So 12% of 400 will be rupees 48. So the customer is giving 400 plus rupees 48 to the retailer. Now again what retailer will do? Retailer uh, had already paid 36 to the wholesaler as a part of tax. So that 36 rupees he will redeem from this 48 and the rest amount will go to the government that is rupees 12 48 minus 36 that is rupees 12 so this is how the calculation goes the full 12 percent which they are collecting at each stage they don't need to pay it to the government that is the people who are wholesaler and retailers they can keep the tax which they already paid in the previous step and the rest amount they are paying to the government okay now the tax which they are paying uh, while purchasing a product is called input tax okay so retailers input tax over here is rupees 36 because that is the amount he is paying to the wholesaler as a part of tax and the tax which the retailer obtains while selling the product that is the tax which he obtains from the customer is called output tax that is rupees 48 so Output tax is 48, input tax is 36 and paid GST or payable GST is output tax minus input tax that is 48 minus 36. So this is a very important formula wherein we have uh, wherein we can calculate what is the amount of GST that is actually paid to the government. Okay. So at every step this happens. Now when we are talking about wholesaler. Now wholesaler for wholesaler 24 is the input tax because while purchase wholesaler is giving 24 as tax. So tax while purchase is input tax and tax obtained while sale is rupees 36. So that is output tax. So again wholesaler has to pay 36 minus 24 that is output tax minus input tax credit and the rest amount only will go to the government. Now why this input tax is called as input tax credit because the part of the money which they are paying in the previous step that they can keep it for themselves when they sell the product and the rest only they have to give to the government that's why the term input tax credit okay. So uh, in the first step if you see the manufacturer the manufacturer is not buying or purchasing the product from anyone. So for manufacturer there is no input tax only there is output tax since uh, manufacturer is selling it to the wholesaler manufacturer is the first person uh, whom, with whom the product is there because he has created uh, he has manufactured it okay so he is not purchasing it from anyone so here manufacturer doesn't have any input tax it only has or he only has the output tax he or she so that output tax is 24 and input tax is zero so GST paid will be output tax minus input tax that is 24 minus 0 that is rupees 24. So full output tax will be paid to the GST uh, to the government as GST. Okay. Wherein as in the second transaction in the third transaction there are output as well as input taxes and at the final stage for the customer he is purchasing the product and he is giving the tax to the retailer. So for customer there is only input tax. There is no output tax because the customer cannot resell the product resell the product to anyone or he is not going to sell the product to anyone else he is not registered to do so so uh, for the customer there is no output tax uh, there is only input tax okay just like for manufacturer there is no input tax 
similarly for customer there is no output tax okay depending on the transaction that is happening so this is how the steps go and now here if you see uh, at every stage the gst which is paid at first transaction 24 rupees goes to the government at the second level 12 rupees at the third level 12 rupees so three transactions happening manufacturer wholesaler then wholesaler retailer and then retailer customer and in three different transactions the total gst obtained is 24 plus 12 plus 12 that is rupees 48 okay so the total gst on the product is rupees 48 wherein 24 rupees will go to the central government and 24 will go to the state government now here if you notice in the final step see the amount paid by customer as gst is rupees 48 and it is equal to the gst obtained by the government okay so directly or indirectly now here customer is not directly paying the tax to the government but indirectly while purchasing a product the pro a person who is using the product actually pays the full tax which is associated with it in several steps the manufacturers or wholesaler or retailers they are paying the tax but finally actually the amount is redeemed from the customer itself the customer itself because he is the one or she is the one who is using the product so the total tax is actually redeemed from the customer himself okay so that is a uh, main thing that you should observe here and one formula which is gst is equal to output tax minus input tax credit so let's see that important note okay so uh, before uh, going into the important notes or formulas one more thing uh, we need to di discuss in detail now there are three fin financial transactions taking place in that uh, flow chart itself now the three transactions are taking place that means there will be three invoices or three tax invoices which will be generated so from the first transaction that is between the manufacturer and the uh, retail wholesaler so that will be gst in tax invoice one price of watch was rupees 200 uh, and central gst and state gst okay now the total gst rate is 12 percent so central gst will be six percent and state gst will be six percent now this is because we already learned in the basics of gst that half will go to central government and half of the tax goes to the state government so whatever will be the total rate or total amount of tax half is for say, uh, state GST and half is for central GST. So accordingly, if total GST is 12%, then central GST is 6% and state GST is also 6%. Similarly, this uh, rates will be for the all tax invoices. So when it is 200, the amount is 12 on both the cases and total is 224. For third, when the amount is 300, the price is 300, rupees 18 is 6% of 300. So 18 plus 18, that is 336. And in the final step, when the price is 400, this 24 plus 24, that is 448. And th these are different types of transactions. Now, first, if you see, the transaction is between two business holders, that is one manufacturer and one wholesaler. So this is a business to business transaction, B to B. B to B is abbreviation or short form for business to business transaction. Second one, that is the invoice, uh, of the transaction between the wholesaler and the retailer that is B again B2B because both are business holders and finally last will be the B2C now C stands for consumer so here you have business to consumer transaction okay so there are two different types of transactions one is business to business and other is business to cons uh, consumer or customer now trading between GSTI and holders is known as business to business okay so two business holders or two people who are registered under GST and have GST identification numbers and who is performing a business, they if between them the transaction is happening, then it is a business to business transaction. Trading between GST and holder and consumer is known as business to consumer. In short, we can write it as B2C. Now this is the last link in the trading chain. Okay, in any trading chain. The last transaction or the last link will be between the business and the consumer 
because finally the product or the service has to reach the consumer right so that will be the last link okay so in all those flow chart and the example which we learned now there are few things that we need to note down first thing is gst is levied and collected at every stage of trading from manufacturer to consumer okay so from manufacturer to the next person that is the wholesaler from wholesaler to the retailer and from retailer to the consumer if there are three, two steps three steps or four steps in each and every step or in each and every stage uh the gst is levied and collected next when trader pays gst at the time of purchase that is the gst paid at the time of purchase is called input tax okay for that trader for that trader for whom he is uh for the trader who is paying the gst while purchase for him that amount is uh, will be input tax or input tax credit and the person who collects gst at the time of sale so for he whom it is selling the uh, product so for him uh he is collecting the gst so that amount will be output tax for that person okay so these are the terms so the gst paid at the time of purchase is input tax and the gst uh, collected at the time of sale is called output tax now at the time of paying the gst to the government a trader deducts the input tax from the output tax okay so gst payable is equal to output tax minus input tax and only the remaining amount will go that is he pays the remaining amount as tax now this deduction of input tax is called input tax credit okay so gst payable will be output tax minus input tax credit so the process of reducing the tax which was already paid at the time of purchase from the uh, tax collected and then paying the remaining amount to the government you can hence uh, we call that it uh, call the input tax as input tax credit okay so gst payable to the government is equal to difference between output tax and input tax credit so this is the important formula which we will require to solve uh, the following examples and uh, exercise 4.2 so that's all for the video and in the next video we will discuss few examples and then we will start with practice set 4.2 So if you like the video please share it with your friends and please subscribe the channel and you can also follow us on Instagram and ask your queries we will respond to you as soon as possible thank you